Hi, welcome to Prime Recap. A dog who works in TV and thinks he has superpowers gets lost from the studio and ends up in another part of the country, now he will have to go through a challenging journey to get back home. Today we will recap the story of the 2008 movie, Bolt. At an animal shelter in Silver Lake lives a white Swiss shepherd puppy who is adopted by Penny. A little girl who names him Bolt. Five years later, Penny and Bolt are grown up and have become stars of a TV show in Hollywood. In their series, Penny's father is a scientist who is involved with dangerous people in complex experiments. Already foreseeing that he may have problems with his partners, the man modifies Bolt's genetics, giving him superpowers to protect the girl. In this episode, Penny gets a call from her worried-looking father, who tells her that he had a problem at work and orders her not to come home. Finding this message very strange, Penny goes to the top of a building and uses a technological binocular to spy on Dr. Calico's meeting with his henchman, the famous green-eyed man. With the help of the binoculars, they discover that the girl's father has been captured by Dr. Calico's men and is being interrogated. When one of the goons leaves the meeting place, Penny and Bolt begin to sneak up on him until they find out where the entrance is, but end up falling into a trap, ending up in a dead end. With the duo trapped, a black car appears at the exit of the alley and starts speeding towards them. To save Penny, Bolt also runs up to the vehicle and hits it with a headbutt so hard it sends the car flying. Penny goes to the overturned car and asks the agent where the doctor is, but the man refuses to say and Bolt threatens to drop the vehicle from the top of a bridge, finally convincing him to say that Calico is in Bolivia. After getting the information about the green-eyed man, Penny gets her scooter and together with Bolt, they escape from Calico's men. While they escape, Penny checks the scanner and discovers that a flight to Bolivia will leave in 10 minutes. With this information, the girl decides to go to the airport together with Bolt, but as they approach the place, one of the planes releases several motorcycles that chase them through the streets. In the middle of their escape, Bolt and Penny pass through a warehouse and the dog opens a hole in the wall through which they jump onto the highway. To separate the two, one of the men on a motorcycle activates a magnetic bomb that will explode in a minute and throw it into the back of a truck loaded with fuel. When she sees this, Penny tells Bolt to get the bomb and continues in the direction of the airport alone. The dog then jumps to the other side of the road, runs after the truck and manages to catch the frisbee-shaped explosive. With 30 seconds left before the bomb explodes, Bolt jumps over the guardrail and throws himself onto the hook of a crane, swinging and falling right onto the top of the moving train. As the dog runs across the train, one of the pursuing aircraft prepares to shoot him with its minigun, but he manages to bring the vehicle down with one shot of his laser beam. At that moment, another aircraft appears and drops a motorcyclist who fires a guided missile at him. While Bolt is running away from the projectile, a third aircraft appears in front of him and locks his aim, but the dog manages to jump at the last second, causing the motorcycle missile to hit the vehicle, which disappears with the explosion. Back on the highway, Bolt drops the bomb on the motorcyclist's helmet, who throws the object high up to try to get away, but the explosive ends up caught in one of the ships, which explodes when the counter resets to zero. When they reach the airport, they are cornered by hundreds of vehicles, and Bolt is forced to use his greatest power, his super bark, which blasts all the vehicles into the air, destroying them completely. With that, the episode is concluded and Penny takes Bolt to the trailer. After they enter, the production crew dismantles the set and goes to the studio to analyze the recording together with the broadcasting staff. In the editing room, the director realizes that the microphone has appeared in one of the scenes and begins to complain to his team about this mistake. At this moment, Mindy Parker, one of the people responsible for the network, appears and asks the director why this is important, and he replies that it is crucial that Bolt believes that everything is real so that his interpretation remains good. After the explanation, Mindy replies that instead of worrying about this, he should spend his energies on improving the stories that are always predictable, alienating the older audience and causing the show to lose ratings points. Back in the trailer, Penny is congratulating Bolt for catching the enemies, when her mother arrives to take her home. Before she goes, the girl begs her manager to let her take the dog home, but the agent is quite cold and says that the dog can't leave the studio, because he will realize that it is all an act. Inside, Bolt is lying down as the cats on the set torment him by pretending to be villains who are going to get Penny. All of this is only to mock him for believing that all of this is real. In the middle of the night, they return to shoot a scene in which Bolt and Penny break into Dr. Calico's laboratory. As they enter, Penny distracts the guards while Bolt attacks each of them, using his thermal vision to destroy the last one's gun. After dealing with the guards, they break into Dr. Calico's computer and Penny tries to use it to track her father's location, but the man with the green eye arrives just in time and captures the girl. At this point, the director ends the shooting and brags to Mindy about how this episode was unpredictable and could easily win over the older audience. 
but the woman is not impressed. Meanwhile, Penny is distraught to see Bolt being strapped into a transport box and tries to go to him to calm him down, but the director prevents her from doing so, asking other actors to hold her down. At this point, Penny's manager arrives to remind her that it is extremely important that Bolt believes everything is real, and the girl eventually gives in to his speech. After one of the employees releases the puppy into the trailer, those two cats from before go up to him to get in his way, only this time he takes the opportunity to escape and try to rescue Penny. Not knowing where she is, Bolt runs around the studio looking for the girl until he hears her screams for help, but it turns out that it was just the program editor making some cuts. While searching for the source of the noise, Bolt sees Dr. Calico's symbol on an object through the window and tries to go through it, but passes out the moment he hits the glass. Bolt falls into a box filled with styrofoam and the packer seals the object, putting it on the transport truck. After a long trip to New York, the shipping clerk is organizing the packages when Bolt wakes up and starts struggling inside the box. Not knowing what's inside, the man cuts the box and Bolt leaps out. Finally free, the dog jumps out the window of the place and runs through the alleys still looking for Penny, but cannot find her. In the middle of the search, Bolt sees a man who appears to be Dr. Calico and prepares to attack him, but gets smashed when he tries to destroy the grid with his super strength. After passing to the other side, Bolt goes behind the man and tries to knock him out, but once again it doesn't work. When he realizes that that is not the doctor, Bolt keeps running through the streets looking for Penny until he finds a truck with the Calico Lab symbol on it. Thinking that Penny is with the driver, Bolt chases the truck and stops in front of the vehicle to headbutt it, but the driver sees him in the middle of the street and luckily manages to break in time. After realizing that Penny is not in the truck, Bolt keeps looking for her until he meets a group of dogs and decides to stop to ask for information, but while they are talking, the dog's guardian attaches the leash to his collar, which causes him to run off. In his desperate escape, Bolt gets his head caught between the bars of a fence and tries to bend the steel to get free, but once again his super strength doesn't work. While the dog tries to get free, a group of pigeons appear and explain what he must do to get out of the bars. Finally free, Bolt finds a piece of styrofoam in his paw and assumes that it is neutralizing his powers. After getting rid of the foam, the dog asks the pigeons if they have seen the green-eyed man, but the birds say they know absolutely nothing. Thinking of a way to find Dr. Calico, Bolt remembers the villain's pet cat and asks the pigeons if they have seen any felines around. Realizing how angry the dog is, the pigeons take him to Mittens, a cat who charges half of the pigeon's food in exchange for protection. Unaware that she is being used by the pigeons for revenge, Bolt questions Mittens about the whereabouts of Penny and the green-eyed man, but the cat keeps repeating that she doesn't know what he is talking about, while the pigeons make the situation worse, saying that she does know. To get the cat to talk, Bolt threatens to throw her off an overpass, and even though she has no idea what is going on, Mittens sees the address of the studio on his collar and says she will take him to where Penny is. With a map of the United States in hand, Mittens tells them that they are in New York and that he must go to Hollywood if he wants to find his owner. Even with the cat wanting to leave, the dog drags her by the leash of her collar while looking for a means of transportation. At a corner, he finds a U-Haul truck that is going to Hollywood and stares at the lock to melt it with his heat vision, but when he can't, he crawls under a couch with Mittens, managing to infiltrate the moving truck. On the set, Penny is crying on her mother's lap when her manager shows up to tell her that he has landed her a job on a talk show, but all the girl can think about is her missing dog. In the truck, Mittens pretends to be interested in Bolt's superpowers to distract him while she looks for some object she can use to hurt him. While the dog is bragging about his powers, Mittens grabs a bat and prepares to attack him, but ends up tripping over the weight of the object and knocking over an entire styrofoam box on top of Bolt. Since he thinks the foam is his kryptonite, the dog panics and jumps out of the truck, taking the cat along with him. After they get up, the cat takes advantage of Bolt's irrational fear of styrofoam and grabs a piece to threaten him, but the dog manages to snatch the object from her quite easily. Since his last meal was in the studio, Bolt's stomach begins to rumble and he starts accusing the cat of having poisoned him, demanding the antidote. Realizing that Bolt has never felt hungry before, Mittens tries to explain to him what this is, but the dog doesn't believe her and keeps insisting on the antidote. After realizing that he is completely clueless, Mittens decides to take him to a trailer camp where they find several humans cooking. In order to get food, the cat teaches Bolt to use the face of a hungry dog to convince humans to give them food. After learning the expression, Bolt passes through several trailers and easily gets food from the humans, who find him super cute. Since she has never eaten so well before, Mittens asks if they can stay there a while longer, but Bolt says they should get to Penny soon, starting an argument. As they debate, Rhino, a hamster who lives in one of the trailers, sees the two and immediately recognizes Bolt. As he always watches TV with his owners, 
Rhino has seen all the seasons of the show and is a big fan of his, even though he has no idea that everything he watched was just an act, Rhino refuses to miss the chance to meet his idol and leaves the trailer to talk to Bolt. When he realizes that the hamster knows him, the dog tells him that he has lost Penny and asks for help to save her. Together they go to an overpass, and as they prepare to jump on a moving train, Rhino mentions that he always saw Bolt in a magic box. At this point, Middens puts the pieces together and realizes that the dog is no hero, just part of a TV show. Desperate, the cat tries to tell them the truth and stop them from jumping on the train, but neither of them listen and Bolt throws himself off the viaduct while holding onto a sign to smooth his fall. However, things don't go as planned and they are almost run over by the train. After the disastrous landing, Middens holds onto the ladder at the end of the car to keep from falling off, and Bolt tries to save her, but his weight causes the Bolt to loosen and the ladder to fall, leaving them both hanging out of the train. Desperate, the cat runs back to the wagon, but as she does so, the guide that is connecting the two gets tangled in the ladder, leaving Bolt completely stuck. At this moment, Midden sees that the last Bolt holding the ladder to the wagon is coming loose and tries to hold on to it, but Rhino sees this and starts attacking her, thinking that the cat is trying to sabotage him, to make matters worse. The ladder moves out of the car just as they are approaching a pole, but at the last second Bolt manages to get loose, causing all three to fall out of the moving train. After the fall, Middens climbs a tree and finally tells Bolt that everything he experienced was just part of a TV show, but the dog doesn't believe her and tells her to come down so they can continue their journey. Middens refuses to continue this madness and wraps the guide on the branch of the tree. Without patience, the dog asks the cat to come down once more and says that he will use his super bark if she disobeys, but since she already knows that it is all a farce, Middens doesn't care anymore and continues on the tree. At this moment, Bolt fulfills his promise and starts barking at her, but they are just normal barks. Still not believing the cat, he keeps barking non-stop hoping that his power will work, but all this sound ends up attracting the animal control truck that arrives to capture them. When she sees the vehicle, Middens begs the dog to shut up and tries to let go of the branch so they can escape, but the shelter worker manages to get there in time and traps them both in the truck. At that moment, Rhino, who had gone to get a ladder, sees that they have been taken and begins to follow them to try to help. In Hollywood, the agent adopts another white Swiss shepherd and pretends to have found Bolt to convince Penny to return to the set. But the girl recognizes almost instantly that this is not her pet, but a trained dog. At this point, Mindy arrives in the dressing room and tries to convince Penny to shoot without Bolt, arguing that if she refuses, many people will lose their jobs and be unable to support their families. In the truck, while Middens is still trying to convince Bolt, the dog insists on headbutting the door of the vehicle to try to free them, but gets nothing but a near faint and a nice headache. At that moment, Rhino finally catches up with them and manages to unlock the truck's lock, opening the door just as Bolt tries once again to headbutt them. After falling out of yet another moving vehicle, the dog is happy thinking that he has managed to break free due to his powers. But when Rhino tells him that he unlocked the door, Bolt finally realizes that the cat was right and that his whole life has been a lie. Quite discouraged, Bolt thinks about giving up everything and staying there, but Rhino manages to convince him to continue, arguing that Mittens needs someone to save her. Determined, the two leave for the shelter and take advantage of the fact that one of the employees is leaving, and so they manage to get through the door. Aware of his limitations, Bolt decides to be more careful and asks Rhino to leave the dogs agitated, causing the guard to leave his post to check the situation. With the employees distracted, he takes advantage of the fact that the way is clear and rushes to the cage where Middens is to free her. As soon as he releases her, the guard finally reaches the dog's area and Rhino who was practically all inside the mouth of one of the dogs starts to run away desperately. Together with Bolt and Middens, he runs towards the exit while the employee yells at his colleague to close the door, but at that moment, the man slips on Rhino's drool trail and kicks the hamster right into a gas cylinder, which starts flying towards the cars in the parking lot and explodes when it hits a pickup truck. After escaping, the trio jumps into a moving truck and Bolt begins to have an existential crisis, but Middens consoles him, saying that being an ordinary dog is every cat's dream. From then on, Middens introduces the pleasures of a dog's life and Bolt begins to like the idea of living like a normal dog. As they get closer to Hollywood, Middens gets excited at the idea of Bolt being a regular dog and sets up some cardboard boxes for them to live in together. When he sees this, Bolt says he can't stay because he has to get back to Penny, leaving Middens quite upset. Furious, the cat says that Penny is an actress and nothing he experienced was real, not even the love he thinks the girl felt. When Bolt tells her that Penny is different, Middens gets angry and orders him to leave. Thus, the two separate in, even though he is sad to lose his friend, the superdog goes on his way in the back of a pickup truck. With that, 
Middens and Rhino stay behind and the hamster asks what had happened to Bolt, but the cat lies, saying that he wanted to face the green-eyed man alone. Thinking this a heroic act, Rhino decides that he will help and says that you should never let a friend face the problem alone. Once in Hollywood, Bolt meets another group of pigeons that are his fans and takes advantage of this to find his way to the studio. When he finally arrives at the place and finds Penny, Bolt sees that she is with another dog identical to him and leaves the studio totally disappointed that he has been replaced. Just as Bolt is leaving, the shoot is shut down and both Middens and Rhino arrive at the studio in time to see how sad the girl is off camera. Outside, Bolt finds the cat and says she was right about Penny's feelings, but Middens tells him what she saw after he left. In the next scene on the set, Dr. Calico threatens Penny's father and she calls Superdog to save them, but in the middle of the scene, the understudy becomes afraid of the agents and backs off, falling on some torches that cause a fire in the studio. As the flames spread across the set, Bolt senses that Penny is in danger and runs back to the studio with his friends to save her. Just as they are about to arrive at the place, an object begins to collapse on top of the entrance and Rhino manages to hold it with his transport sphere, but soon the sphere begins to crack and Middens must get him out before he is crushed. Thanks to the gap created by the hamster, Bolt manages to enter the set and he hears Penny is short of breath because of the smoke. Desperate, he runs to the girl, who hugs him emotionally, but the moment doesn't last long because they have to escape from the place that is falling apart. Since Penny is very weak, Bolt begins to drag her by his leash to the exit, but when they reach the ventilation duct, the girl falls to the ground practically lifeless. Even given the chance to run away, Bolt refuses to leave her and lies down next to her waiting for the end, but while they are standing still, he realizes that the duct can echo the sound and decides to give his last super bark. He then stops in front of the duct and starts barking non-stop. From outside, everyone can hear him barking, so the firefighters can identify where they are. Bolt barks to exhaustion and after some time completely blacked out, he wakes up already inside the ambulance together with Penny and her mother. While they lament what happened, the businessman shows up and starts talking about how they could use this to boost her career, which leaves the woman completely indignant and furious. She then kicks the man out of the ambulance and says she will never return to the studio, giving up the performing life forever. With Penny gone, the show puts another actress in her place and they use the fire as an excuse, saying that because of the burns, they couldn't keep her looking the same. The new actress is then relieved that Calico won't be able to recognize her, but the villain shows up just in time, ready to poison her. At this point, Bolt's replacement uses his laser beam to destroy the syringe and attacks the green-eyed man. On the other side of the screen, Penny's mother turns off the TV while Bolt, Mittens and Rhino enjoy the wonders of home life. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.